Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, Florida's reef track, the third largest in the world, has been in big trouble for many years from coral bleaching to stony coral tissue loss disease and severe storms. Over 95% of the coral cover has been lost. And right now, a severe coral bleaching event is underway in South Florida. While it is more bad news for the battered reef system, scientists say they've just observed evidence for hope. This year, uh, it became apparent that this was a much more severe event. University of Miami researcher Dalton Hesley was the first to discover a widespread coral bleaching event, still ongoing, along the reefs from Stewart to Key West, the eighth since 1987. It's been six years since the last one, but waters were warmer for longer this year. The corals are very sensitive in that they need a very specific thermal range. When water temperatures exceed around 87 degrees for too long, coral stresses. It turns white. And if that stress lasts long enough, they can die. But this year, early cold fronts and, ironically, Hurricane Ian may have helped. When you add in the additional mixing of cooler water temperatures from Hurricane Ian, I would say it gives them a greater chance. And Florida's dwindling coral population needs all the help it can get. So the University of Miami uses cutting edge science to grow coral in the lab and replant it in the wild. One key to weathering these stressors is creating a diversified community of coral. Hesley says there's evidence from his recent dives that their methods are working. We have one of our restoration sites that had over 100 different genotypes. And so at that site, it was clear that there was a great degree of variability in the corals that were bleaching. Our restorations diversity uh, increases the overall likelihood of success long term. And so this real world case study kind of exemplified that. But science can only do so much. It's David battling the Goliath of global warming. Are water temperatures warming up too fast? for us as humans to be able to replant these corals and really be successful at restoring these reefs? Or is there truly hope here? There is hope, but ocean temperatures are warming too fast. Ocean acidification is happening too quickly. Storms are intensifying. And so coral restoration alone is not enough to restore the future of our coral reefs. There is still time, but scientists warn that virtually all of the world's tropical coral reefs could be gone by 2050 if ocean warming is not halted. For more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.